video we will be focusing on row selection from a data frame based on column values let's import first of all the data frame the libraries that we need in order to get the data that will help us with the example so import y finance as yf import pandas as pd let's focus on the stock of apple so the ticker symbol of apple is uh, apple like this and then save it into an object called apple so yf download and then the tick will be requesting a period of 21 years and in addition we will be uh, setting the actions parameter equals to true in order to get the dividends and the stock splits of Apple. Let's take a look at the head of a new data frame and we have all the information that we will be using here. So the first thing that we can do is to modify or rename the names of these columns in order to avoid problems when selecting the columns in the future. So let's do this Apple rename and I want to rename the columns, adjust the close because it has a space, and I want to get rid of that space. So I'm going to be renaming it, adjust it, close. And I also want to rename the column stock splits in order to avoid or in order to get rid of the space. Place equals true in order to save it in the original data frame and I want to check if the changes have been saved, which is the case. Okay, so we know that Apple stock has split five times since the company went public and that the stock split on a four for one basis on August 2020. So let's suppose that we are looking for the date of the last split so the date is this is going to be a certain row in this data frame so the first thing that we can do is just to set to select the column which is going to be stock splits and i want to get the last stock split which i know that was on a four for one basis so if i run this line of code i'm going to be receiving a series of booleans in this case none of these that are displayed none of the dates that are displayed on the screen corresponds to this condition so in this case the only thing that i need to do is to apply it to the object that contains all of the information so this is the data set the object where the information is stored and this is the condition that is going to be inside a brackets so in this case, I run this line of code and I see that this row where the stock of Apple split on a Ford for one basis and the date was this one in August 2020. I can do in this case, I can use because loc is primarily label, um, label based. Uh, th this is another option, but it can also be used with a Boolean array, which means that we can use it to select rows based on one or several conditions. So let's take a look at the log function in order to do exactly the same um, request. So Apple log and we include the conditions because it takes also a Boolean series. In this case, if I run this command, if I run this line of code, it will give me exactly the same information. Another option in order to get these, uh, the rows that we want with the condition that the stock split is equal to four can be done with the query uh, function. So for example, we said Apple query and we're gonna be defining a stock splits equals to four. Notice that in this case, the, this is the object, this is the method query, and in this case, inside the parentheses, we're going to be um, putting inside brackets the condition that we are going to apply. So we run this line of code, and it is going to be exactly the same outcome, the same output as with the previous two ones. 
So we can use a mask in order to make perhaps our code cleaner. We're going to say Apple stock split is going to be higher, for example, than zero. So this is the condition now is saved on an object that is called mask. So if we called the original data frame and if we apply that mask, then it is going to be giving us, it is going to be returning the uh, data that corresponds to this condition. So let's, for example, select the rows that correspond to dividends greater than zero and the adjusted close price greater than or equal to 50. So in this case, we need to specify two conditions. So the first condition, let's call first the object. The object or the data frame is going to be Apple. We open square brackets and inside we're going to be putting two conditions. So with the condition and because we are going to request that these two conditions are true. So we say that we want the Apple, the dividends of Apple that are going to be greater than zero. This is the first condition that the dividends of Apple are greater than zero. And the second condition is that the adjusted close price of uh, Apple is going to be greater than or equal to $50. So in this case, these are going to be the conditions that we want. And we are requesting all of those rows that um, comply with these two conditions at the same time. So this is the way that we can do this. We can say uh, we can achieve the same result with the query method. As we say, the query method requires less um, uh, less writing of code. So in this case, dividends higher greater than zero and the adjusted close price of Apple, which is going to be greater than or equal to $50. So we run this line of code and we obtain exactly the same output that uh, as previously with this line of code. So in this case, notice that sometimes the query can be uh, slower, a little bit slower than the uh, Boolean indexing, but you can use it for larger data frames. So in this case, we can also apply uh, the or condition. For example, let's uh, say that we want the dividends higher than greater than zero and the adjusted close greater than 50. So in this case, what we want to do is or uh, to, to apply the condition or we open the square brackets as well as the or uh, sign in Python. So we say Apple dividends are going to be greater than zero or the adjusted close in this case the apple adjusted close is going to be greater than or equal to 50. so assume this is going to be what the or the output of our two conditions of our multiple uh, conditions in order to select rows on the pandas data frame but suppose that you're not interested in the totality of the columns that are included in data frame. You can or, or you want, for example, only the row, uh, the column volume that, that corresponds to the rows with these conditions. So you open square brackets and you say volume. And you're going to be obtaining only the series that um, um, correspond to these two conditions of the column volume in this case if you want that same information but but as a pandas data frame for example these uh, the previous one is a series data frame part, part of a series of um, information so in this case you're going to be uh, adding another square brackets or uh, brackets and in this case you're going to be obtaining the same information but in the form of a data frame it can be done also for several columns so in this case if you want not only the volume column but you also want the close um, uh, the close price 
uh, column, then you add another, uh, you know, the name of that column, and you, and you can obtain the data set with that, uh, with those conditions. So this can be also done for uh, not only for numerical values, but also for uh, strings. Let's take a look at another example by using a, the ticker method in the Y finance data set. So for example, we're going to be saying Y ticker and we want the stock of Apple. So this is a ticker. This uh, word Apple is now a ticker to which we're going to be able to apply some methods. So just for the sake of this example, we're going to be saying recommendations in this case. Uh, so in this case, recommendations with an S, sorry about that mistake. So we're going to be having all of the recommendations from the uh, from a series of firms, in this case, uh, some investment banks and so on. And we can save that information in new data set. So let's take a look at the head. Of that data set and it is saved in the recom object so in this case suppose that we want to take a look at the recommendations of goldman sachs you have a series of fir firms in this column firm so we do exactly the same thing as we have been doing so recommendations it is the data frame i want from the column firm i want all of those firms that or whose name is equal to Goldman Sachs, for example. So in this case, we have, uh, I made a mistake in this case, firm and Goldman Sachs. So in this case, you are filtering um, all of these uh, companies with that name and obtaining the rows corresponding to that condition. So you can do exactly the same thing with the query method but you need to pay attention to the um, this caveat because in this case suppose notice that if you say query and if you say firm again equals to goldman sachs so in this case you're going to be receiving an error how do we get why do we receive this error well because in this case there is a problem with the name the name has a space so what we need to do in order to get rid of this error is to include all of the conditions in double quotations. So in this case, we're going to be including double quotations and the name in quotations. So in this case, Goldman Sachs, notice that it is, this is, it is included in single quotations. We're going to be running this command and now the problem is solved. So this is how you select some rows based on one or several conditions.